Hey, it's Paulie. Welcome to General Gaming's Top 5, where each week we look at five trending news stories in the world of video gaming. Links to today's stories can be found down below in the description section. Starting with number 5, Bethesda is releasing Wolfenstein The New Colossus on October the 27th. The sequel to 2014's Wolfenstein The New Order, it's set in 1961, some time after the Nazis have won World War II and invaded the US. You must now fight to free the US of all the Nazis. Now if you think the characters look real, it's because Bethesda used face technology on over 100 real life actors. It'll be available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC. At number 4, Pokemon is releasing Sun Moon Ultra on the 3DS on the 17th of November. Now unfortunately this will be the last RPG on the 3DS as Nintendo and developers shift their focus to developing new games for the Switch. Along with new legendary forms, Pokemon Ultra Moon Sun will feature a new story in Aloha which may possibly shed more light on the legendary Pokemon and the Ultra Beasts. At number 3, Activision is releasing Call of Duty World War II on November the 3rd. The campaign mode is set around an infantry division based in the Eastern Theatre. One of the newest features is the HQ allowing players to assemble before a mission, in other words, allowing them to assemble much like a lobby. Lastly, the zombies are back. That's right, more Nazi zombies than ever before. At number two, selling over 20 million copies, Terraria is a sandbox style video game developed by ReLogic. Two months ago, I was fortunate enough to have interviewed the world number one in Terraria, John, aka Sash. He's put in over 8,000 hours in hardcore expert mode, and he's gone where no gamer has gone before in the game. I chat to him about his rise to the top and some of the challenges that he's faced along the way. You can check out the interview or follow Sash on Twitch or YouTube. At number one this week, EA Games is releasing Star Wars Battlefront 2 on the 17th of November. Available on PC, Xbox and PlayStation, it gets a brand new single player campaign mode. Unlike last time where multiplayer was a paid option, this time you get a free EA account every time you purchase Battlefront 2. However, the DLC won't all be free. Well, that's this week's top five. Once again, we hope to see you next week and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.